Okay, so hi there my dear Pisces and this is your July 2020 love monthly forecast reading with me Chrissy from in the stars by Chrissy.com Now for the month of July, I'm doing things a little bit of differently wherein I'm just checking in with the energies in place through the month of July on how this might be influencing us influencing your personal life your relationships emotional life and etc and you know how we may be able to navigate this and how we should um, the possibilities that are in place within a month basically this is just you know going to be a very short video very quick and straight to the point and brief i do apologize for the late uploads on the july forecast um, i'm actually having a hard time in speaking right now for my mouth and my throat area so um, please do bear with me and hopefully next month it's going to be able to be a, a change, an improvement. Um, yeah, so when it comes to Pisces, let's see what's going on with you guys. And it's quite interesting really because it starts off with Temperance card which is really a very balanced card and all of that but at the same time, you know, whenever I am reminded of Temperance, it's all about reminding us that you know there is something about to begin in our journey something is about to begin in our life maybe something is um something is of required assistance needing of assistance um because i always see the temperance cards card as a mediator like trying to fix something trying to make sure that everything is in harmony that kind of thing and you might be experiencing that and it could be that the energy in place here is that is that there is an influence of i want for things to be better i want for things to be happy i want for things to be vibrant i want for things to be in a very harmonious state and the fact that you are wanting that might mean that you don't have that right now and it's very telling because the middle card that we have here is the mountain which is you know an obstacle a problem and with the cross over here it's like telling me that there is something that could be burdening you right now it could be something that is happening in your personal life maybe in your career or in your love life in general you know it can be manifesting to you in a very general way but i kind of feel that whatever is going on right now with you there is a chance and a possibility that you are very troubled with this especially that we have here the fox we have here the scythe and the snake card and uh, the rest of this cards are quite um the negative ones so there is a chance that you know you might be troubled with things feeling burdened feeling like you wanted to change but you're having a hard time change is actually in the picture we do see some form of improvement in the air but it will require some hard work you know it could be a very harsh lesson in life it could be something very difficult to accept all at the same time or this can also mean that there could be dissatisfaction disappointment in your life you know in other cases this can actually just manifest in a way we're in you're seeing the lens of the world that you are living in right now in a very negative way or in a way we're in it's hard for you to be positive there is some form of pessimistic energy in the air right there but uh, we do see that you know even though that there's a, a lot of disturbance going on in the background of things there is an energy here wherein you know life is still progressing forward and you know we do see the possibilities of you changing your skin changing your aura or trying to find ways trying to make ways trying to find ways how to have a more fruitful outcome into whatever venture that you are dealing with right now there is a situation here wherein you know any success that you are seeking right now might be delayed or you know the change might 
be occurring maybe at the end of July, I just kind of feel that, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities to deal with right now. And there is also a chance that, you know, you're, you're not really at the point of being in the mood when it comes to relationship because you feel that you need to deal with a lot of harsher things in life. Maybe something to do with your real life, with your career, with your business, maybe. It's a possibility because we do have the snake and the fox here. You know, I, I don't always want to see every card here as a negative thing. But if we do see it as a positive thing, maybe you're having issues with your work. Or, you know, you're trying to find ways how to improvise due to the times that we are living in. So there could be some conflict in the air, agreements and disagreements uh, possible for sharp words and some form of changes that need some form of caution is in place. It could also be a situation wherein, you know, it's time for you to create a new start, a fresh start, that kind of thing. We do see here that uh, the changes is that are happening right now is going to be very gradual and eventually it will lead you to, um, to a better future, a progressing one. It's just that you are going to deal with a lot of issues right now. It's like if there's going to be talking, there's going to be a lot of talking. And if there are misunderstandings, there could be a lot of them all at the same time. And it takes a lot of hard work. And you need to deal with the hassle things in life to actually um, overcome everything and so it's like you're dealing with a lot of troubles they're not exactly troubles they're hard work so it's not really the most smooth sailing month for you guys but this is about you um not not really feeling as if the world is hard on you it's more of you just need to do the things that you have to do you know it's something that you need to do you have to do we do have here you know very independent cards we have the queen of swords and the snake card all together this is you know uh, it's, it's like a woman who has herself in power and they don't need to rely on men they don't need to wait on men to make that decision so you will have to make a choice you will have to change something remember snakes can be all about change and it's always for the good thing but it could be happening in a way wherein we're not ready I, I wouldn't say you are already ready but you feel that you are not ready or you're not prepared it's like you're being forced to change something when you're not comfortable with but the change that occurs for you is necessary because the things that have been going on in your life um, is not going anywhere basically so there's a lot of things going on right there and interestingly enough we do have here um, the eighth house being activated Mars and in the sign of Aries and right now we have Mars and Aries so when we see it in this light we can expect some form of intimacy issues can be coming into the forefront of things it could be um, dealing with partnerships um, issues with partnerships with debts uh, those kinds of things or it could be death as a whole but I really don't see that in this reading so right now it's all about you know needing I can feel that you know there's a lot of paperwork that you need to deal with it could be a lot of messages important messages that could be coming through um, uh, promise contracts that you need to deal with will will they be promised or not those are the things that you know you need to evaluate um, I kind of feel that this is a time that allows you to connect to a whole lot of people not just with one person alone you know there's a lot of changes that you need to to push through um, I also see that um, a helpful friend or some form of insight from a certain person, maybe a, a wonderful friend that you have, will help you in your troubles and in your problems. So if we see here that at the middle card is always the present. So if we see here that, you know, this is the, the mountain, the scythe and the tree that is not really 
a really good a good almond because it kind of feels that it feels that it feels like you, your health is deteriorating. You, you don't really see the, neg the the positive side in things. You, you don't feel happy in one way. You don't feel happy. You also might feel sad or may not feel sad. But there is really no, not much improvement because it, it might feel that you are in a stuck, in a rut, that kind of energy. But we do see that there is going to be some form of change that can happen. In some form of movement in the air is in is being promised to us here. So um, let me see what is the advice for Pisces in terms of their July 2020 for the month of July for those that are inside Pisces. And then, and then what I have here with me is a uh, time to go and all about <laughs> our romantic angels are helping you yeah so whether when it comes to our personal life our um career personal and relationships there could be a situation here wherein you might need to let go of something we might um come into terms of what we can accept and what we cannot anymore especially with all of these cards you know we do have a lot of very conflicting energy here but at the same time there is still some form of love in the air being promised to us so maybe there are lessons that we need to learn we need to accept or maybe this is going to be a lesson of being able to assert yourself and being able to take action and not just passively waiting for things to happen in your life. So there are possible a lot of possible um, energy into this. But one thing is for sure is telling us that, you know, there are things that you need to step away from now, right now, especially with the things that are giving toxic energy to you it could also be that there could be a news that you know that will make you think of what you need to let go and what you need to pursue what you need to, you know eventually even though that even though the energy is very confusing right now you will be able to know what path it is that you must take in life and you will feel that it is something that is actually meant to be so eventually you know we, we see here the progress are very very slow it, it might feel that you're not progressing at all it might feel that you're not moving at all but actually there's actually something good out there for you and do know that your spirit your angels are helping you across in whatever venture that you have along the way at the same time we do know that you know any insights that comes to us right now we need to take note of that because we who knows we might need to take action and this is not the time to just completely be passive this is an energy wherein you need to change something especially when something is not working out anymore in your favor so um yeah this is my reading for you guys pisces pisces sun moon and rising sign again this is still a general reading so it's going to be very very general since it's really focusing just on the mm, the basic energy for the month of july for each sign so um yeah i do hope that i feel better for next month hopefully so i can go back to my usual type of reading so um yeah again thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys again next month